Let us study the behavior of parallel LC circuit. We have taken a capacitor of 100 microfarads and an inductor of 100 milliampere. The resistance of inductor is 5 ohm and for representing inductor resistance we have considered 5 ohm resistance in series with this inductor. This one. Let us simulate this circuit to study its behavior. Initially the switch is in open condition and we can see here the voltage at this node is 0 volt and the current through the inductor is 0 ampere. Here we can see the scaling of current which is in milliampere and here it is a scale of voltage in millivolts. As we switch on the capacitor acts as a short circuit and all current flows through the capacitor and it gets completely charged. Inductor resists the change of current and so it conducts slowly and the current rises in the inductor. Using Ohm's law, current is equal to 5 volt upon 5 ohm resistor that is 1 amp. So the current in the inductor will rise up to 1 amp. Now the circuit gets stable current. Capacitor is fully charged and voltage across its terminal is 5 volt. Current through the inductor is maximum which is flowing 1 ampere and voltage across inductor is 0 volt. Now we will open the switch. Capacitor now starts discharging through the inductor. Energy from the capacitor is transferred to the inductor but the inductor keeps flowing current and so the capacitor gets again charged but in reversed polarity. After the reverse voltage builds up in capacitor it starts discharging again and now current flows in reverse direction. Inductor resistance dissipates the energy in these oscillations and the voltage across capacitor terminal decreases and finally comes to zero volt. So we can see here in this LZ parallel circuit that the energy stored in capacitor in the form of electric field is transferred to the inductor where it is stored in the form of magnetic field. In an actual LC circuit, the charge may oscillate between inductor and capacitor thousands to billions of times per second.